This 30 minute heart rate training is going to help you develop fitness qualities while reinforcing the mental performance, to learn to control your energy expenditure while maintaining good technique throughout. Our goal for this 30 minute session is to go through all ranges of your heart rate variability. So we're going to be starting at lower zones and we're going to be incrementally working our way up to higher zones. And then towards the end of the workout, that final push, we'll be doing very short duration burst, trying to get to over 90% of our heart rate max. You do need some sort of heart rate monitor to do this workout. It does not have to be the same one I'm using, but you do need an, a watch or something like that. Also, you don't have to use the same modality that I'm using. As you can see here, I'm actually using the stairs. You can literally do this heart rate training with any cardiovascular modality that you want to do. Treadmill, you can run outside. You can bike, you can row, you can stairmaster, you can elliptical. As long as you're in a position where you can check your heart rate and monitor your pace throughout. I'm going to talk a little bit about my heart rate monitor and how it and works. I just want to eliminate any confusion around working with heart rate percentages and working with beats per minute, the differences between so I'm wearing each. my heart rate monitor on my chest and it's connected to an app on my phone so I can see in real time how many beats per minute that I'm um, at and then what percentage of my heart rate so I'm notice at. what I'm tapping here. This is beats per minute. That's 57 beats per That's minute. That's not what I'm going to track. I'm actually tracking percentages of my heart rate. If your particular heart rate monitor doesn't monitor what percentage of heart rate max you're at, you're going to have to find that range yourself with the average beats per it's minute. It's actually a really easy calculation to do. You need to know your estimated heart rate max or your true heart rate max, and I can help you calculate those ranges for you if your particular monitor does not go off percentages, okay? So let's get started. The first 10 minutes of this workout is going to be particularly easy. Mm -hmm. Wanting to stay between 60 and 69% of your heart rate max. It's going to be very common that you have to adjust your speed up and down. That's okay. You have to change your speed. If you're running outside, you might find that you have to change your pace, that you actually um, go a little higher than that. Then you need to slow down your pace and try to stay within that max. And on these first two intervals, I actually don't start the 10 minutes until I reach the, uh, the percentage that I'm supposed to be at. So for me, it took me about two and a half minutes to get to this blue zone to get over 60% of my max. And then I started my 10 minutes. So one thing I want to point out here on my heart rate monitor screenshot you see is that 67% for me is 132 beats per so minute. So like I mentioned before, if your heart rate monitor doesn't monitor the percentage and it only goes off beats, that's where you're going to have to do the math and find out what beats per minute range you need to be in. So that's the bottom left is the heart rate beats per minute and the percentages right there is in the center. So pretty easy, 10 minutes staying between 60 and 69% of that max. So stay in that range. Do not get fixated trying to keep it perfectly at 65%, just between 60 and 69%. If you're any percentage or beats within that range, you're fine. All right, next up, we're gonna bump it up a notch. Now you're gonna either increase your speed, or in my case, I increased the level on my Stairmaster, where we can get our heart rate in a range between 70 and 79% of our heart rate max. So for me on this app, it was the green zone. You'll also notice that my heart rate increased as well, almost 20 beats on average in the bottom left corner. So I was staying around 150 beats per minute or so. And again, you might find that you have to adjust your speed. If you find your heart rate actually gets a little bit too high, then you need to take it down a notch and learn to control that energy expenditure. Oh, and again, I, I didn't start the 10 minutes until I reached that zone. So I was trying to get to that zone pretty quickly and not waste my time. So um, it took me about 90 seconds um, after increasing my speed to actually reach that 70 to 79% range. So you're gonna do that here as well. All right, last 10 minutes of your heart rate training. All right, shirts coming off. Shirts are coming off. Things are getting serious. So this last 10 minutes is a good push. And the whole reason I like the last 10 minutes is for me, it's really all about that mental that push. feeling that you want to give up, but you just have to stay in it. And it's literally all about how far you're willing to push yourself. And I don't mean this to like scare anybody, by the way. If you want to spend these last 10 minutes just in the yellow zone between 80 and 89% of your max, you totally can. But for those of you that are up for the challenge, what we're going to do during these last 10 minutes is two to three 20 to 30 second bursts of sprints about every three minutes while you recover quote unquote in the yellow so zone two to three sets of those if you can hang and during those 20 to 30 second sprints what we're trying to do is get our heart rate here in the red zone now i wasn't able to take a screenshot while i was in the red zone uh pretty much because it was i would have fallen off the stairmaster because i basically had to turn it all the way up and, and do a whole and sprint in this case it would have been better to have somebody change the speed for me so i didn't fall off but nonetheless 
last night. I made it through. I just couldn't get a screenshot. All right, now here is me actually dying doing one of the 20 second sprints. I actually went to 30 seconds, really trying to hit that red zone. Now here, you don't have to wait until you hit the red zone. That's 90%. Don't wait until you're 90% to start the time because in some cases it takes way too long. So just 20 to 30 seconds. Trying to hit over 90% of your max and stay there and push through mentally. And we're quote unquote gonna recover or stay between the 80 to 89% as we recover down on those last 10 minutes. Now, after you made it and you completed your 30 minute heart rate training, try not to fall off your modality like I did now, here. Very important when you get done, this is not optional. You must do this. At least a five minute cool down you walk. Do it on the modality that you're on, which I didn't wanna do. I just walked around the gym until um, my heart rate got down.